Hey everybody, this is Rod Giltaka from Civil Advantage Firearms Training again. I'd um, like to thank you for watching uh, our videos, uh, coming over to our channel. Again, I will make mention that our videos are aimed, targeted as it were, specifically to people that are beginners. Um, either you're a novice to firearms or perhaps you've never held a firearm in your life and you're just interested in it. Uh, if that's the case, we're really glad to have you. Um, firearms are a, a great hobby and uh, a great passion for a lot of people. Uh, that's why even today uh, they're so popular. So in any case, uh, today we're going to be looking at semi-auto pistols and in particular we're going to look at the Glock Model 17. It's a 9mm semi-auto pistol and uh, we're going to be of course looking at, at the uh, safety and operation of this firearm. So again, we'll start from the pistol being on a, on a table or, or what have you. We come across the firearm. We're going to pick it up carefully, keeping our finger off the trigger, out of the trigger guard, up on the frame of the firearm, just like that. Again, as in other videos, that's our safest available direction. So finger off the trigger. We're going to turn our body to face the safest available direction. Now, uh, one technique that we use when we teach uh, pistol safety is that we're imagining that there's a steel rod that's protruding out of the barrel. And that steel rod is locked in place so that we only have the ability to turn the pistol back and forth like this. This technique is actually really, really good um, for beginners and intermediate shooters as well. Keeps, uh, keeps in the forefront of your mind uh, muzzle direction control. So that means we move our body, not the firearm. So I've got my finger off the trigger up on the frame. I roll the pistol this way. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to roll it uh, with the magazine facing left. I'm going to push this little button, which is the magazine release and I'm going to get rid of that magazine. I look at this thing and I'm saying, well, there's, <laughs> there's rounds in the magazine, so I've got a problem. I now roll the pistol back the other way. I put a pinch type grip onto the slide of the firearm and I run again the action. In a semi-auto pistol, the action is this whole area, including the slide. Okay, this is where all the action happens, hence the name, but this is where rounds are going to go into the chamber, get fired and get ejected. So when we manually work the action like that, we're going to eject everything that might be in there. But we don't trust that completely. So in any case, picking back up, we rolled the pistol this way, run the action. Now we're going to take the magazine in our left hand, and I look and they're still, in this case, dummy rounds, but rounds nonetheless still in the magazine. I'm just going to push them out with my thumb, and I'm going to verify I have an empty magazine. What am I going to do with this magazine? Well, the easiest way for a novice or a, any kind of beginner to lock the slide back on a semi-auto pistol is to insert an empty magazine. That's, um, that's just the way, uh, the way that we teach a lot of people to do it. Uh, it just saves a lot of struggling with the slide. This, uh, the steel can be slippery at times. The spring can be quite heavy. And um, not everyone has the, the, uh, the muscle control to, to manipulate that slide. It can be tricky. So we take that empty magazine, we place it back into the pistol, make sure it's seated. Again, we roll the pistol again. We've locked the slide back with the empty magazine, roll it back, and remove the magazine. It's actually that simple. So now we do our look, touch, and look through, down through the magazine well. I know there's nothing else going on in there, and I can go ahead and check the barrel for obstructions. Um, just like any other firearm, it is important to check the barrel for obstructions. So uh, now I've verified that the, uh, the pistol is safe. So now to load it, we're going to take our ammunition. We're going to push it into the magazine. Now there's some feed lips here in the, in the magazine. So we take our, our round, we push it towards the front, and then move it to the back of the magazine. So I got two rounds in there. I pick up my pistol, and you'll notice the whole time I've kept the muzzle direction pointed uh, safely over here. So I take my magazine. Again, the pistol is still stuck on the metal rod. I insert the magazine, make sure it's seated, roll the pistol. I pull back the action and I let it go. So pull back the slide, pardon me, and I let it go. So now I've got one in the chamber. The, uh, the firearm's hot, it's ready to fire. Again, if I want to uh, make it safe, roll it this way, eject the magazine, clear the magazine, turn the firearm this way, work the action, turn it back, empty magazine, turn it back again, and there you go.
So it's, uh, it's kind of an interesting way to do it. Every time I flip the, the pistol, I'm doing something, and I turn this thing two, three times, and I've got a safe firearm on my hands. Again, look, touch, right through the magazine well, take a look, and inspect the bore for obstructions. That's it. That is the, the Glock Model 17 9mm pistol. Thanks again for watching. Uh, come and see us for further videos. Again, you can see us on the web at www.civiladvantage.com. And take care.